As you may know, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. But the truth is, every month is a great opportunity to celebrate the beautiful organ that is our colon. Well, maybe beautiful to your friendly gastroenterologist. Yet, I digress. What does our colon do, you ask? Well, it absorbs water, it eliminates waste, and it keeps you regular. And when we say regular, we mean keeping you regular. This is a computerized image of normal colon. The top layer is the mucosa. As you can see, it's pink and smooth. This is healthy. Sometimes the mucosa can form an abnormal growth called a polyp. If a polyp goes undetected for a long time, it could become bigger and even become a cancer. Sometimes that cancer can even spread, called metastasize. So what are the facts about colon cancer? Well, it's the third most common cancer, and it's the second cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Kind of scary, right? But there is good news. And the good news is that most colon cancers can be prevented. And the way we prevent it is by getting screened so that we can detect polyps early and treat polyps or cancers early as well. So when should we get screened? Guidelines now suggest that screening should begin at age 45 for those who are at average risk for colon cancer. Average risk means someone who does not have a family history of colon cancer or polyps and who does not have a personal history of colon cancer or polyps. As for how we screen, there are many ways to screen for colon cancer, but there are two methods that are deemed the best and have the most evidence behind them. These are the colonoscopy and the stool tests. The first screening method is called a colonoscopy. That's when your provider will take a camera to look into your colon and to see if there are any abnormalities. If a polyp is detected, your proceduralist may be able to remove it with something called a snare. It's basically like a lasso that once it's thrown over the polyp, it can close it really tightly and remove it. These are actual pictures from a screening colonoscopy. A polyp was detected on the left picture, a snare was used to lasso around the middle piece, and then it was removed completely, as you can see on the right-hand picture. Overall, the colonoscopy is considered the best screening test because it not only can diagnose an abnormality, but it can treat it as well. The second screening test is called a stool test. This allows us to detect evidence of polyps, either by microscopic blood or DNA in the stool. It involves going to the bathroom, getting a sample, and bringing it to the lab, or even sending it in the mail. It's an easy and convenient test, but if it's positive, a colonoscopy is the next recommended step. Bottom line is that a screen colon is a happy colon. Help us protect you. Help us stop colon cancer by getting screened and talk to your provider about which screening test is right for you. Thanks for watching.